My friends, this is the only skin you will need in FM23. It is amazing. Welcome, folks. Welcome. Quick video today. I've had a load of questions about this. What skin have I been using the last few weeks? I've been using this one. It's the Tato skin. Super popular last year. He was kind enough, was he was, to let me try a beta of it. So we've had a test of it. And I can tell you now, it's a thing of beauty. And the good news is, it's been released for the general public right now. Yes! So what makes it so good? Well, how about pretty much everything? If you could give me the perfect skin, I think this is pretty much it. From the club info screen to everything else, we'll have a look at it today and you can see why. So this is my club info screen for Northampton. You can change things around. I like it like this, so you can see the kits, but you can have key players, whatever you like. There's different areas of it where you can change everything around. It's just that bit nicer than the main skin, right? This page, for example, you can pretty much have all your information on the one page. I've showed you the profile, but you can have your key players across there. Even all players scroll down there, literally all your players, your club atmosphere, your board culture, support and confidence. It's all on the one page. You've got transfers down the bottom. You've got your club background down here. And even here, you've got your schedule and fixtures, everything on one page. Your home base page, you can tailor to your needs as well. So down here at the minute, we've got league table, but look at all the options you can use down here. You can even, which is kind of cool, bang your match tactics in and then drag it across and have them fold in there like that. It's entirely up to you how you create this home page and it's completely editable to how you want to have it. Player profile pages are just so much better, bolder, the pictures stand out more. Again, you can edit it to however you want it, whatever sort of information you want on there, any way you like it, they can doctor it to your needs. Now there's a direct link below in the description so you can get your direct download of this. So I'll take you to the forums, have a little look at it and the download is in there. But first, the best bit about this skin is right here, and it's going to change the way you play this game. And it's this one, it's match day. In match, we'll change the way you play it with this skin. So you've got a full tablet there in the middle, covering everything you need, and as you go across the top, this is where it gets good. You go to Analyst, and it'll show you what's been going on. Stats, including, or however you want to customise it, down the bottom corner here, then you can change it to whatever, any way you want. The big one for me is the player stats home and the way. We'll get into that as the game goes on a bit. And then we've got the big one that gets so much attention is the heat map where players are as the game progresses. So even with highlights on, if you choose to have the panels on, you can see you have the stats down one side and you've got your formations down the other. Obviously you can change these to wherever you want as well, but how nice is that? And then down here, you can see how the progressive passes are going, the final third passes, just showing you everything going while the match is going on. So as the game's going on, you can start having a look at your panels and see what's going right and what's going wrong. So if I looked at this and my Northampton team, I looked on the passing option, see Mitch Pinnock hasn't started great. His passing completion rate is pretty poor. So I'll let it play on a bit, but if that continues, I now have the option of going to Pinnock, going to his player instructions and tweaking things, possibly telling him to go fewer risks, short of passing, something like that. So you can keep an eye on it as the game goes on. If I want to click all over the place, see how your game's going and make those tactical decisions. The other biggest one for me is as the game's going on and the team starts to settle into it, you can keep an eye on the heat map and see whereabouts your players are in position and in relation to the opposition. You can see here that Northampton currently quite aggressive, whereas it looks like Sheffield Wednesday are adopting a bit of a counter-attacking style. So having that at your fingertips and knowing what's going on is great. You can always have a look at the passing network, have a look at passing patterns and see where the opposition are focusing their passes and how your player's going as well. So all this at the fingertips in match just going to help your in-match management no end. So that's the Tato Skin Crew. It's going to be my go-to the entirety of FM23. Go get it downloaded. And one more thing, under my head, and he doesn't ask for anything, this guy, but I urge you to do this. The guys who make these skins work so hard to increase our enjoyment of the game. A little donation to the PayPal, I think that's the right thing to do, and I'll be doing that right now.